All right. Well, here we go. Bit more Project Zomboid. So yeah, this should be the last episode in West Point. So that's pretty cool. Click start. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this is starting up, right? Okay, so yeah. Once again, we've uh, we've cleared out uh, basically all these cells here now. Um, one thing we got left to do is go down there to that uh, that diner thing there. Um, somehow zombies keep showing up on this road, so I I don't know where they're coming from. Maybe the 204 over there or. Whatever, but we ended up killing about 130 there last time. Actually, probably 120 and then another nine or ten along the way. Um, anyway, so what we have left to do in West Point is clear out this 948 here. And then go up and loot these three houses here. That is that survivor house where we got killed last time. Well, the other thing we could do is connect up these uh, roads here. Which probably involve killing about 250 more zombies. But yeah. So yeah, this is uh, roughly where those zombies keep showing up. Maybe they're they're coming from over here too. I mean, we've probably lured a bunch out of both of these cells up to here with the sirens and stuff, but uh, hmm. I mean, there might be more down along these roads here that keep coming out or something like that. Who knows? But I, I guess we'll discover all this stuff as we play the game. Alright, we are 910, got tons of shotgun shells, how many spears do we got? Okay, so we only have four crafted spears on us, hmm, okay cool, we got some chips and max and cheese there along with water bottles. bunch of these and we'll throw them in the uh, police car there because let's face some facts we're uh, we're gonna be uh, going through a lot of spears as this goes on there we go that's good enough so let's go try to loot those three houses Yeah, so we're basically going to be killing these guys hand to hand. My bet is we're going to be uh, using the shotgun a lot up against them. That are on the road out here. Right about there. And we'll, uh, in doing that, we'll get our aiming way up. And, uh... We need to go up one more. Yeah, we do. Oh, uh, well, you know, all the corpses have decomposed, so I'm not worried about about running over bodies now. That's the one joy of dying and uh, having to go back, uh, come back is that, yeah, we uh, we don't have to deal with bodies. Um, yeah, Danny, you know, I'm not sure when I'm uh, gonna go back to oxygen. Um, I mean, it's like, this week Frostpunk 2 is out in beta, and in fact today, so I was considering getting that, but they want 90 bucks for the uh, the pleasure of playing it for this week before it gets released in July. Um, yeah, I'm not sure uh, if or when I'm uh, going back to it. I do feel like there's a lot unfinished with that, but, uh... It's like I also feel like at this point I'd have to really reacquaint myself with the... I'd have to probably watch a few tutorials and stuff in order to, you know, really get good. And, uh... Oh, 
Alter. Small groups of zombies are just kind of scary again. Dump that on you, dump that on you, okay. It true? That's the joy of being a multi-game channel. It's that, uh, I mean, the other thing is there's only so many hours in a day and so many, uh, so many games you can play and... And, uh, yeah. I mean, well, like, when I originally started with this one, it, it was kind of... Some are like, oh man, there's so much to it. I'm gonna have to learn all this stuff about it. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's... I mean, it's not like I, I just don't want to play it anymore. It's it's just... Yeah, it's, uh... It feels like there's a daunting uh, task in front of me, you know, to, to get into that. To do a good, uh... Good build on it and stuff. There we go. Lost another spear. So we got no maintenance anymore. So let's see what our maintenance is anyway. Oh, tw no, like it's not even up one level. Yeah. And uh, for me, my what I really want to do is get this series done now, especially before Build Forty Two comes out, and then really start getting into other games. zombies together here. Start shotgunning them. So I, I want to say thanks for all the help while playing uh, Oxygen there, Danny. It's, uh, I got stuck doing so many different things in that while playing. And, uh, I mean, it had been a while since I played it, so I'm like, you know, realizing as I'm going on, there, there's so much I don't know about that game. And, uh, yeah, it, pretty big learning curve.
another spear. Wow. one way off over there, okay. Well, pretty good. How about yourself? I may have to um, turn off the mic this afternoon, by the way. Um, oh, shit. Yeah. My eye protocol is going pretty good. Devastating shotguns are in this. Oh shit. It's right after I say that, it jams. Five aiming already. That's pretty cool. I knew we could get it up really quick with this uh, shotgun method. this crowd behind us and we'll blast him down with our striker shotgun. Wow. 
God, I hate the crawlers. Oh. Hard to believe we almost got this done. Um, no, there is a kill counter here. So, so far we've killed 273. And you can actually see which weapon you used. So I guess, I mean, there's sort of a shot counter. As you can see, kills. So we got 129 by spear, 134 by firearm, and 11 by vehicle. That is a mod also that uh, you need in this game if you want to see how many guys you killed in what way. Dismantling electrical watches to get our stuff up. Yeah, for me, the way I figure it with this series is like, I mean, I don't want to overestimate or underestimate, but uh, if I had to guess, I would say there's probably 50 or so episodes left before we're, we're done this. I mean, it's a... Uh, after, you know, West Point here is done, we're going to be on the road to Louisville. So that'll include the mall. Hmm. None of these guys have digital watches. Yeah, um, that's, uh, uh, we were running people over on the road on our way to and from this place, right? And so, in running the zombies over, get a kill with it. Hey, that counts. That guy's got to watch. Hey, there we go. like 70 uh, so shotgun shells to get our shooting up to a level 5. So we've improved three levels of shooting already. It always astounds me how quickly that can get done. Or what, level 3 spearing now? Or level 2 spearing? Okay. Oh, hey Cole. Um, well, yeah, I mean, it's got kind of the Mad Max kind of pimp out on it, right? Where it's all covered. Oh, my God. Okay. I realize there's still these many guys here. I guess we had a few hundred, but I thought they'd be kind of out of here by now. things we gotta do. So we'll eat the mac and cheese. Eating mac and cheese while honking on our horn. Attracting a bunch of zombies. Smoke a cigarette while we lure them on us here.
them all grouping up here, so a lot easier to take them down. You know, I thought a cool documentary right now, that, and I hope somebody makes it, is just a thing about what it's like to be a, a woman named Karen nowadays. And what, like, I, I can't think of another time. I mean, maybe there was like an, you know, the name like Hitler or Adolf got just such a bad rep so quick. Um, I mean, even then, I mean, there, there's random Adolfs you might run into, but it's just... How, how the name Karen all of a sudden just became synonymous with everything bad and wrong with society. In like, I mean, a like year or two, all of a sudden it's just, everybody knows Karen. Karen is, you know, this you know, grand example of a, basically a bitchy white woman. Like it's, it, it's just incredible to me how quickly that name has fallen from common usage to just, oh, it, just mud. Like it's, anyway. Yeah, it's, it's just, like, I mean, what happened, you know, <laughs> like, how does all that go down? Okay, actually we'll take that hunting knife. Um, hold on, we'll... Okay, so now that's full. Um, actually, we'll equip this one. Okay. We'll put all this stuff in our backpack for now. We'll run around dismantle watches, trying to get our level up again for electronics. There were some bullets there. Now we'll take both those. I mean, shit, we might not be able to make it to that uh, that group of three houses today. But hey, I think we uh, when. Only killed 345 guys, damn. Feels like a lot more. I guess it does when it is more difficult to kill them. Anyway, it's just, for me, it's just incredible to see what's happened to that name. And, you know, essentially the documentary would be talking to, like, women named Karen. And, I mean, I went to school with, I want to say, two or three Karens in, like, elementary and high school. And just... I mean, do they even go by Karen anymore? Or have they switched over to their middle names? Um, like, kind of, what's... I mean, what's happened with that, you know? It's, uh... Jeez, we didn't keep wakeful, did we? Like, we're getting really tired really quick here, by comparison. Didn't realize how much that was helping. Oh, I'm a shit day. You know what, we'll take this again for now. So yeah, you know what, we gotta go with the character once that's like just awesome stabbing ability and uh
will slash people up with a machete like we're Jason Voorhees or something. Hey, shotgun shells will take those. Now, as near as I can tell, the Karen thing started with this, uh, this one post somebody put up that was like, uh, there was this dog on a bus. This woman said, hey, why is that dog on a bus? And her name was Karen. And then this guy just responded, well, because he can't fucking drive Karen, which is pretty funny, but, uh, it... Like, it was just like a random Facebook post as to like, you know, what's going on here? Why is that dog on a bus? You know, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, like the response, very, uh, you know. guys here too. We got people coming out of the trees. Jeez, you know, I really thought we were uh, we'd be down more zombies by now. Oh, and there's one over there too. And one over there. Next level reloading. Jeez. Oh. You're getting pretty tired here, too. I guess these guys have already spawned in here, right? Put out a striker shotgun again. Oh, yeah, I wonder if the Karens are like, uh, you guys have ever seen Office Space? Michael Bolton? I 
a character named Michael Bolton who's all pissed off that Michael Bolton became famous. Sandwich and a book there. Well, that sandwich is probably rotten. Okay, this will be the last bad guy or last zombie. Before. Dump off for broken spears and see if they got any electronics on them or whatnot. We usually get better loots off the uh, the guys in the cities anyway. They usually have guns on them or whatnot. see what it's like up ahead. We're at 400 killed now, so we're at 130 at the start of this, so like we killed about 270 there. I remember that shit from before. Tiny bit of time today, so let's uh, oh, back up a bit more. Huh? Okay, we're gonna pull this bus with our cop car here. It's gonna look kind of ridiculous, but we're gonna do it. Gotta say, I've never seen a bus crashed out like this before. So I guess in this game tomorrow we'll uh, do the rest of this here. I guess that'll have to just remain a mystery. Try to get all the zombies 
out in the main area there. Okay, and then we'll come back tomorrow, we'll kill the rest of them, and then we'll finally get up to loot those three houses we've been trying to loot for uh, over a month in game now, because... Yeah, we, uh, we got bit and died and all that fun stuff. Just kind of see what's down this way. But... Kind of wondering where this road goes. I thought there'd just be a house. But, okay, so we got an ambulance. That's nice. We'll unload and tow that one back. It probably has an intact light bar. I'm not going to go with our other ambulance. Okay, we'll kill that guy next time. So yeah, there really can't be too many zombies left in this area. We got a couple stragglers, but uh Hmm. Now I was thinking we might go to that survivor house where we died, pull out our crowbar, and smash our way through the doors and windows just to improve our maintenance. Because that's uh I mean, that's something we could do to improve it, right? Hey, you know, we got a crowbar. See so yeah, the way maintenance works is every time you hit something and uh, your weapon doesn't get damaged. It makes it go up by like half a point or whatever. So... duct tape, right? It's the big one we're looking for now. Um, there we go. Oh, we'll open up one more. That way we know we got enough, uh, enough stuff. Yeah, I found out, uh, apparently, wine bottles weigh less than plastic bottles in this. Okay. Flip that one in both hands. And, okay. Got that there. That there. Into there. All that right there. Oh shit, we left that there, didn't we? Oh well. Yeah, I've realized our other guns are actually just over in. You know what, we don't need that on us right now because we aren't using those guns at this time. Okay, so that's all good. Okay, cool. Let's uh, get out of here. Go to sleep. thousand calories okay well need that marmalade I guess I could pop
probably 400 calories left to uh, crank up here. So I guess we'll just eat some peaches. Peaches, 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 peaches. Okay, so we got that full. Eat some more pe- uh, let's eat pineapple. Pineapple Express. But yeah, currently we don't have any pistols on us because I, I guess I set them in the, the big truck or whatever. Actually, here, let's go grab those pistols right now. And, uh... a bit more here. Oh yeah, right, there was this other thing somebody was mentioning. We gotta do here. Okay. I'll show you guys next time we go looting from zombies. There's a fast way to, uh... No, that's... There, we'll put that there. Okay. I'm gonna pull this ambulance over to where the, uh, where those trailers are. And then we can hop in there quickly and find our guns. Because I don't think I left them back at the, the house. I think we accidentally put them in the, uh... Or we... I accidentally put them in the trailer. With all the other guns. Which means we can just quickly grab them. Three, uh, three houses. This ambulance has done quite a lot for us. It's uh, kind of surprising. It's one whose light bar has lasted. Oh yeah, we gotta go down there too. Mustard there still. go past there, that's the road to Louisville. Oof. Ah. Okay.
think our other one was a Glock. There he is. Okay. Cool. Well, this is gonna scare me more and more every time. Just hopping out there because it doesn't like put us in a safe spot immediately, like or at least a safer spot. Given we haven't had any uh, zombies sneak up on us like that yet, but I feel like it's a possibility. Hmm. Just grab some gas quickly. We're coming back here. Sure, it's on the other side. Lucky us. Oh. That could have been really bad. You're never actually supposed to refill your car while, uh, while it's running. shit there. Yeah, I meant to look in that container too. I didn't. I feel like we should also smash those doors down with the uh with a crowbar in some levels. There's going to be a guy standing out here in the middle of the road pretty soon. Passed him earlier. All the way back into town. So yeah, there he is. I'm going to 
I took a lot more shots than I should have. Well, you know what? We got some empty tin cans and pop cans for you. There you go. the guns in our holsters, right? grab that other ambulance. Oh. No, 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 let's go kill these guys here. So there wasn't too many left, right? So we could we can easily get these guys done. The shotgun and everything. Sometimes, you know, I am Canadian, so uh, hockey is the sport of choice. And actually, playoffs start like next week. Canada had a big game in women's hockey yesterday. That was uh, pretty cool. Won gold medal over the States. say it feels uh, remarkable how how women's sports is kind of kind of taken up and uh i mean you know like there, there'd always been women's sports but it'd always been seen as kind of this like oh yeah yeah women's sports whatever but in just like the last two or three years the ncaa uh you know march madness thing and 
Um, women's hockey really seems to have hit this next level where it's like, uh, I mean, the only other sport where I can think of where there's really, I mean, really close to gender parity is like tennis, where it's, it's like on the same level of prestige, which, uh, largely isn't that way for other sports. And, uh, anyway, it's, it's pretty cool seeing that happen. Yeah, there's a damn tree there. I'm like, why can't we see this? Okay, I want to go get the propane tank out of here. Say free propane tank. I'm in. Okay, yeah, so there's somebody in there. I figured there would be. Probably ain't nothing down here anyway. Don't even want to go in there and lose. Um, okay, for for hockey, I jokingly started cheering for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Because, you know, I'm in Saskatchewan. Usually we uh, we cheer hockey-wise for uh, um, the Oilers, the Flames, or the Jets, who are our nearby teams. There's always a lot of Toronto fans and... Uh, Montreal fans here in Canada, too. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I started cheering for the Columbus Blue Jackets as a joke, and since then they've become my team. They've only ever won one playoff series. Although, in their defense, it was the single biggest upset. Likely in, I mean, in NHL playoff history, yeah. Um, maybe even in sports history. Like, it... Anyway, um, because like the Columbus Blue Jackets never won a series, ne like never won a playoff series. Uh, they'd won, I think, two, maybe three playoff games before. Oh, we got a bleach shrinker. Awesome. So there are more guys in there, okay. Anyway, uh, if you don't know the tale of how the Columbus Blue Axe won, okay, so check this out. The Tampa Bay Lightning had the, the best, I think it was the best or second best regular season record of all time uh, for points for an NHL team. And, uh, so they were the number one seed and Columbus had barely, barely scraped into the playoffs at the, uh, number eight seed. Uh, you know, Tampa was the heavy on favorite to win the Stanley Cup. Um, no, we're just gonna have to go back for now. Uh, let's go grab that ambulance. I mean, I think we've got pretty much all the guys out of there now. Anyway, so yeah, uh, they were heavy on favorites to win the Stanley Cup. As, I mean, like, the best team in the regular season should be. Um, you know, they had the highest scorer on their team uh, with Kucherov. And anyway, they had a fantastic goalie. Um, and then against Columbus, you know, I'm like, okay, well, I'll, I'll watch. But I was just like, yeah, I'm prepared to lose here, you know, like what, what's going to happen. So in the first period, the score is three nothing for Tampa after the first period, and it's like, oh my god, like you know, we're we're just about to get you know toasted by these guys. That's that. Um, yeah, it it was just like you could feel it, like ah, oh, another year of disappointment. 
And, uh... Anyway, and then in the second period, they scored one goal, like Columbus scored one goal. And then in the third period, they scored three goals to win four to three in the first game. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty epic. Uh, they were behind, like, almost the entire game. And then they ended up sweeping the Tampa Bay Lightning, who were, like, like one of the best teams of all time. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it was just, it was one of those things where it's like, that, that didn't just happen, did it? And, uh. You know, the next uh, two years, Tampa Bay would win the Stanley Cup, like in a row. Uh, and, you know, they were that team that was the, you know, they should have had a three Stanley Cup dynasty, but they got swept in the first round by the eighth seed, which is the first time the number eight seed has ever swept a number one seed. And I think all North American playoff sports, uh, like it... It just does not happen where the number... Like, the number eight seed's won before, but they've never swept the number one seed, let alone that kind of number one seed that's, like, one of the best teams of all time. And, uh... <coughs> yeah. Really had a Miracle on Manchester vibes. <coughs> hmm. Um, for soccer, I wouldn't say there's uh, a direct team I actually support. Uh... I mean, I like watching, um, I guess, what, the Champions League finals in May? I I'll almost always, like, you know, turn on the TV for that and just sit there and watch the, the final game. Because, I mean, even if you don't enjoy sports in particular, watching that, you know, the championship playoff game is actually pretty fun uh, for pretty much any sport. Uh, at least in my opinion. I've always found that, that, uh, it's pretty good stuff. I mean, for me, like the soccer leagues that I actually kind of watch sometimes are, uh, I mean, we've got major league soccer here now, so that's, that's pretty cool that that's taken off here. Um... No, women's soccer is pretty big here, you know, talking of women's sports. Uh, mainly because Christine Sinclair is Canadian and, you know, she, uh... She's probably the greatest female player of all time, uh, currently, so... For, like, overall points and everything. She's kind of got that title. Although the Americans are, you know, generally a better team. Uh... Well, that was unexpected. Side note. Okay, yeah. So the light bar does have some stuff in it. Let's see how the vehicle mechanics are quickly. So the engine is in crap condition, the windshield is in terrible condition. How's the light bar is the other question. Okay, we'll install that. Run 
install that. Yeah, well, now we got two nice light bars up there, ready to go. I'll uh, we'll have to put a battery in that uh, ambulance there, but shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, and tomorrow we'll definitely be able to get to them three houses. Plus, we're going to leave kind of early because we're going to go back. We're going to eat some food and then we're going to go to sleep. What the hell was that? Looks like the whole game froze up for a second there. randomly gum here. So it's better for unhappiness than for uh, hunger, right? We got that. Um, let's eat some chocolate. Do that. will set us where I want to be. hands. Oh, we got a book still. We don't need that. Drop that there. Okay. No. I will check that out. Was that a recent thing like uh, Saturday or whatever for, for games? I mean, probably. Was that? Yeah. Oh. Oh, 2020. You know, I probably did. Um. I just, yeah. Uh, I don't remember. I remember, like, the first time I accidentally, like... Uh, like, I woke up late on a Saturday, and, uh, I'll turn on sports, see what's happening, 
And uh, it was the um, Manchester United versus um, God. It's the the German team. Um, or no, no, it was no, no, it wasn't German team. It was um, God, it was another Premier League team. But I remember Michael Ballack was on it, and uh, it was at the the penalty kicks where Ronaldo. Uh, just got stoned by, uh... Oh, man. What what team was that? It wasn't Arsenal, was it? No, no, it was Chelsea. How, how can I not remember this? Wow. Um, but yeah, it was Chelsea versus Man U. And uh, Michael Ballack has the whole game on his boot there, and then he, uh... He missed that last penalty kick, and that was that. Well, it, it went to the next group, and then Man U won it. But it was like the idea that Ronaldo would miss his penalty kick, and then Balak would miss his penalty kick, and yeah, it was. Uh, I remember that being like, wow, you know, maybe I should watch some uh, some more soccer. And <laughs> the thing about it here is, like, for for soccer, like it airs at about. Uh, 11, sometimes 8 a.m. here, but like it, it airs in the early, kind of early morning time, uh, because of the time difference, right? So, gotta say also, if you haven't seen it, um, Apple TV has a show called Ted Lasso that is quite the, uh, quite the TV series. Strong recommend on that if you haven't watched it. Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso is so good it's one of those TV shows you wish you could forget it entirely just so you could go back and watch it again. Um, like it just something else. Anyway. But yeah that's all about uh, about soccer in uh, United Kingdom. Okay, you know what? We're going to go all the way down here. We're going to connect up these roads, and then we're going to go loot those three houses. And then we're going to go finish up that diner area down south of where we were based currently. And then we're going to start on the road to Louisville. First, we're going to kill you, though. Yeah, Ted Lasso is just, uh, yeah, very, very, very well done. I don't want to check down there, but now we'll just go this way. Keep looking to see if they're uh, survivor houses. We had this all going on here. Hey, you got a shotgun? I got a shotgun. Isn't that interesting?
Yeah, I kind of want to talk a bit about Ted Lasso, but I don't want to ruin any of it. I just finished watching Fallout. That was pretty good. Uh, very faithful to the video game. Obviously, Jonathan Nolan isn't just some one-hit wonder. Jonathan Nolan is Christopher Nolan's brother. He uh, he directed that series. He also made uh, Westworld, which was one of the uh, best shows about, you know, consciousness and uh, living beings that I've ever seen. Like, what what is it that makes a being conscious? What is free will compared to the illusion of free will? And... Uh, I've seen Aquaman 1, not 2. Uh, for me, I kind of tuned out of the DC Cinematic Universe after Flash, which I know a lot of people were shitting on Flash for its uh, bad CG and stuff. But I actually enjoyed it. It was a fun little watch, in my opinion. Was it like high art or anything? No, but it's... The way I put it is like if... The other DC movies had been like Flash. I think that that series would still be ongoing, rather than having to reboot the whole cinematic universe thing. Yeah, I figure that would happen. There, put that there. Oh, fine, we'll put one of these in our backpack. There we go. The thing about, James, er, about Aquaman is I think it's James Wan directs it or whatever. Um, and he does good stuff. Like, he, he's really uh, been a fan of his since Saw. And, uh... Well, we should check out Aquaman sometime. I mean, I, I can watch it for, like, free, right? So it's... Nothing's really holding me back now. Okay, so that that's that group of zombies. I didn't think there was more zombies here, too. Oh. Dismantle those. It's crazy to think we're going to need to get up to level 7, uh... Level 7 electronics again. Oh yeah, right. Okay, I think that's the watch we're wearing. Okay, so there's a watch here, so we'll just... Okay, 
Okay, so maybe it's not our watch. Maybe it's... Well, their watch. So, okay, yeah, so it's not our watch. Is this our flashlight, though? Anyway, yeah, you can just do this, and then I think in general you can, uh... Rip sheets and whatnot. Close this for a second. Like, if you get B, you can go rip sheets, craft all, and it'll, like, rip up all their clothing for us. So that's way faster. Somebody mentioned this on Reddit, who had, like, a couple thousand hours played. So, like, oh, okay, I'll try that. And now we're trying it. It goes much faster. Of course, it didn't improve our skills at all, but, you know, neither here nor there. Okay, well, it's good to see that actually does work. And, uh, totally didn't see you guys there for a second. Problem is that takes up so much room on the screen. There's still more guys here. And at this, just when I think I'm out, they pull me back in a moment here, right? Like Jason Momoa, but yeah, he would. He had this whole thing about um, the way he played Cal Drogo uh, is essentially kind of decimated his career because everybody saw him as Cal Drogo for the longest time. Like that's just who he was, and I'm like, yeah, I see that. That um. I just want to go connect up these roads just quickly and uh, do that. Just get everybody on us. Kill them on the way back. It's a nice big house there. Oh, she's when I was young. Um. Hmm. Well, uh, first system was Nintendo. Um. Of course, Super Mario Brothers there and stuff. Um, I'd say I really got into gaming with Super Nintendo, though. Um, particularly, like, SimCity. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, okay, connected them. SimCity had its moments. That was a... Uh, 
uh, I would I'd say is my first like base building type game that I really got into. Um, otherwise, I like the uh, action adventure RPGs like uh, Legend of Zelda and uh, Secret of Man. I thought was a, a masterpiece. Also, did a re-release that not too long ago. Yep, Sim City, the originator. Now the problem with Sim City was uh, some of the sequels, particularly Sim City Four. Uh, kind of that I think that's an example of a city builder that was almost too massive where you couldn't just sit and build a city you had to build up all these other things in the region and then you could then you could uh, like like you could build a small town of like two three thousand people but then you'd have to like build up its neighbor and it's like I, that's not how I wanted to play that's not how anybody wanted to play and uh Anyway. Oh, they have a freaking party going on there. Look at that. I feel like there's going to be some good stuff in there. Wedding veil. Okay, so it's a wedding party in there. Oh shit. Um, another game I played a lot when I was young was uh, UFO Enemy Unknown. Um, that was like one of the first PC games I really got into. Um, I haven't really played Factorio, or, uh, or, I mean, I'm trying to think of Factory games that I might have played, but, uh, yeah, I'm not really thinking of any right now. Like there's some good stuff in there. Could be completely off on this one though. still hear the guy in there though. So 
I don't want to go in there as is. Once bitten, twice shy, you know? stuck out here. I don't want to go fighting guys in houses currently. I just don't got a good feeling about it. No? Ugh. Okay, well I guess we'll just have to leave them there. feel like a chicken just leaving that like that. But. Guys, might make that three guys. Four guys. So I've got a bit of a group here too. Okay. Yeah, I gotta agree with you. I, I learned, I mean, I've learned a lot more about playing that game uh, in that last kind of kind of stint of playing it. That the core bonuses gained from sweeping stuff up just aren't aren't worth it until way later on, I guess. Plus, uh. I should have put uh, random kind of lockers around in different places so dupes aren't ever too far from a locker. Rather than jamming all the lockers in one room.
behind you. There's a group right just standing right up there. I just wanted to see what was down that road, you know? Ooh, we got us uh, a hiker. Yeah, you know, I was watching this thing on, like, proper, uh, hatches and, and all that stuff. I'm like, man, I should have built, like, incubators and stuff. Like, like this guy... D watching the, the people do tutorial videos on how to set up your, your... Well, everything in that game. Uh... Yeah, it... It's like, uh, there's so much more I want to do, but I realize, like, I'm going to have to watch more and more of these videos just to, uh... I always think there's going to be guns in there. I don't know why. Hmm. Yeah, but it was like, okay, so this guy had set up a thing where you have a, a like a hatch area. Where you have it set uh, to the egg beater at level 6. Or no, the... Um, uh, the, uh, uh, what was it? Like, the egg hatcher level 5, and the incubator level 6. And that way, when there's an extra egg, and you only have two incubators and eight hatches, and, uh, they'll essentially lay enough eggs and have it cycle out over time. God damn. We gotta kill those guys, don't we? Nine o'clock. We are super hungry. Let's get them uh, chips. Look at that meat stick, also.
Oh shit! Didn't realize that would be the case. Usually have four and five set up as our guns. But I guess we put on the holster before we put on the, uh, the belt. Yeah, it was, uh... It was just, it was an interesting, like, here's an automated example of a hatch that provides you not only coal, but food. And here's how much coal you'll get out of it. And here's how much food. And, uh, all that stuff. Anyway. Oh my gosh. I know we had another group down here. I thought, I thought we'd be pretty much done with the guys here, but or maybe we just gotta go. Yeah, I keep wanting to hit up those three houses way up north, but I'm not being able to. Got to connect with that. Oxygen not included really is an example of like a, a very in-depth base builder. It's like there's just so many different uh, things you have to get going. I'm sure when it's all nice and automated and everything's running smoothly, it's one of those games that looks just beautiful. But uh...
over the three houses. God, it's like 11 o'clock. Shouldn't be doing this. As soon as we're so tired and everything. I forget how many more days it takes to do stuff in this. When you're, uh... Back at the start of everything. Just because your skills aren't up there. These are the three houses here. Not a survivor house. Not a survivor house. Not a survivor house. Should wake up anybody in any of these houses here? Back to our base for now. Yeah. <laughs> Went down, but there was that group there, so I think we go back along this way. We checked out those three houses. I just wanted to see if they were survivor houses. None of them were. I always try to make sure, yeah, there's one researcher just because you end up having to do lots of that, right? One digger because you're going to be digging a lot right at the beginning. Well, you know what? That's really this part of West Point, huh? Depending on going around and killing all those uh, stragglers there. I mean, let's face it, we probably won't be back this way. We've seen all that, but uh, we will go fix up the uh, or go finish up the uh, diner area or whatever it is just south of. Uh, South the West Point here. Oh, I don't think we can really drive to it. It's far closer. Oh. 
All right, let's turn on this light. Where the hell is the light switch? There it is. Like, why are we not able to turn this on? Okay. We'll equip this primary. We'll take a look into it. Yes, we've already done all the or read all these maps. I'm wondering why this has gone back to uh, unread. But oh well. Okay, there we go. Just a bit of stuff there. This large backpack there. Bunch of scrap electronics. Um, put these here in our backpack, and we'll put these here in our backpack. Two thousand calories right now. Not seeing any way of uh we'll open. some uh cook some uh soup or whatever all right dogs barking at something there's a guy that's supposed to come today to uh The, uh, the air conditioning's kind of messed up here, so uh, there's some guy coming today that's going to have to work on the furnace. That's like in the room next to me, so it might make a lot of noise, and I might have to mute myself for a bit. Um, just so you're not hearing, like, banging and whatnot. And I gotta say, the dog barking there makes me think that the guy's going to be here right now. He's supposed to be here way later this afternoon, but... I just assumed that wasn't going to be the case and that he's going to be here earlier. Okay. There we go. Um, oh, we got beef jerky on us too. But what we need now is a cigarette. Okay. Um... Oh, we got those water bottles on us. We're just gonna check down in here now. For everything. Um, 
yeah, we just need to get to that one yellow, uh, yellow place, meaning it's a restaurant. I think it's a diner that's down here. But yeah, okay, the, the furnace guy is definitely here, so... Okay, well, I'll see you guys back in here in a bit. I'll be, still be playing, but I won't be talking.
No, I gotta admit, this is getting pretty scary here. Uh, it's like... It's like a diner here. I don't remember right. Yeah, so there's like that. That, I mean, we've only gotten that far down. Hmm. I mean, we can probably reach it. It's like, no wonder these guys were coming out like this. Well. Anyway, I'm gonna have to mute again here, so. I'll be back.
Yeah, I think we're gonna come back here tomorrow in the game because uh, it's gonna get dark pretty soon. I really don't want to be stuck on this road when it gets uh, too dark out to see shit. But uh, what we'll do here is we'll head back and we'll I think move Apocalypto up to where the uh, containers are. And uh, then we'll bike back here and get our stuff. So yeah, that'll be the, uh, the next bit here. I say this feels real extra scary just going through this area. There, uh, there could be mods with other RVs, but we don't currently have them installed. The one vehicle that we have in this game that we have not found yet is the Bushmaster, which is like an armored personnel carrier. And that's one that we're, we're always on the lookout for. We just haven't really ran into it. So hopefully at the uh, Louisville checkpoints we'll run into one. But we will find out later on.
That's the horn for the bike, right? This uh, bike bell goes a ways, though. Like, it, it's one of the most powerful horns in the game. Even though it sounds really, uh, really light. Yeah, we did have a light for the bike, uh, but uh, we didn't actually install it there. We could have installed it if we wanted to, though. But, uh, anyway. The bikes are a mod add-on in this that's uh, one of the best there is. Um, yes, I've seen it, and no, I did not know about that checkpoint life strip. Hello, by the way. Um, let's get. I'm keeping things uh, kind of muted right now because uh, there's noise that can randomly erupt uh, just in the next room. So, I'm gonna mute again in just a second here. But uh, yeah, you know, thanks for showing up. I'll talk a bit about it in, in just a bit because yeah, I got some kind of funny stories about that. So, be right back.
the furnace is uh is being uh fixed right now so it's uh yeah that's what's what's causing the noise um or can cause the noise it's not always noisy so sort of like let's hope we uh go with it but the movie it stephen king's it Leaving the crafting menu open made it so I couldn't just hit R to reload. So that kind of freaked me out there. Anyway. These are all guys lured up by that bike belt. They didn't come up because of the, uh... Because of 
is the alarm going off. It's that bike bell. I think it's got the maximum reach of any kind of horn or anything in this. Yeah, the issue with the furnace right now is when it switches over from uh, the furnace to the uh, air conditioner. It just uh, shuts both off and uh, flips a, a fuse over or something. Anyway. So. Gotta be dealt with. As uh, This is Saskatchewan, so... Yeah, Saskatchewan's got one of the biggest temperature differences in the world because it goes from uh, minus 30 Celsius to plus 30 Celsius pretty much every year. I mean, sometimes it even goes about, you know, 10 further within that. I guess the hottest I've ever seen it here was like 38 or something. Even though it's different from other places hot because here at night you, uh, you get cold no matter what time of year it is. So... So one thing I noticed in like uh, going to Mexico was like, I'm like, hey, I can walk around in shorts and a t-shirt or in no shirt at night and not get cold. How is that possible? And because here it's just like, it doesn't matter if it's the hottest day of the year. At about 9 or 10 p.m. at night, it, it just, it, it gets cool by comparison. Okay, well, I think we killed a bunch more there. And now after all the snow has melted, we find out we're getting more snow on Tuesday, so... Like, it's the middle of April, this isn't normal. What? I might have called it the stove. I frankly don't know. I'm not sure if you guys watched South Park, but there was a pretty hilarious uh, thing they did in that. Oh. They talked about fixing stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. ULA people wouldn't really have to deal with that. What I found incredible was how you guys have pipes on the outsides of your houses down there. Like, how, how do you have it on the outside of your house? Because here it would freeze, right? Like, there's just no, no way around that. Spears on us currently. Not a big rebar one. Okay, we're gonna have to pull back here a bit because. We really don't want to get surrounded here. What the?
There's some up here. Jeez, that's a lot of guys. Okay, this is uh we'll use this now. It's like 6.30 in game time. Oh. We got enough time to do this. Thank you. 
Oh shit, okay. We got three more to do, huh? through here. Oh! Did not see that guy. That was a close one. We're as far into this as we can go today. We're gonna have to come back again. Damn. Oh well. Jeez, that's uh Where the hell did we leave our car? Yeah, for us here, like right now, we're in, like, okay, we, we jokingly say we got two seasons here, winter and construction season, because they can't really do much construction during the winter, so it's only kind of emergency repairs then, and then the rest of the, the roads and everything get all get repaired during the summer here. Um, but I always find, like, I don't, I don't consider winter over and spring officially kind of on until we've had uh, the first big rain of the year. Because what it's like here, at least right now, is there's just so much dust everywhere. Uh, because during the winter, they put gravel on the roads because um, salt works up to like minus 20 Celsius. But once it gets colder than that, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't actually reduce the uh, slipping around of cars. So, yeah, we, uh, we use gravel. So now there's, like, little bits of gravel all over the road. And, you know, they bring street sweepers around eventually, but, um, yeah, it, uh, it is pretty nasty until then. Like,
like it's just you know a, a bus or something goes past you and it just kicks up so much dust and uh, yeah anyway So I can't wait till we get that rain. So that does tend to really cut it down. Russia's been getting like a lot of rain also, apparently. To the point of flooding. again so I'll be back in a bit
It's like 6.15 games, so I think uh, what I'm going to do is just watch. Uh, we'll get super drunk, and then we'll pass out again. And uh, then we'll wake up, and everything will be good. I think that's the plan. Okay, well there we go. That's uh, that's done now. So fantastic. Can talk again. Ooh, there's a whole group behind you. Fuck, we're overheated. Running too much.
Uh, it should be. Right now, I'm like, oh, don't bother saying anything, the mic's off. Oh, shit. But then the mic's back on, right. Kind of got in the habit of doing running commentary whenever I'm playing games. But, uh, yeah. We're good here. Okay, yeah, so Stephen King's It. Um, there was the most recent two-part movie, uh, but before that, there was, a. Uh, it was one of the first great ever TV movies, um, because, yeah, there used to be this thing that they would do that was, uh, you know, before Netflix and all this stuff, actually, really, before HBO did it, there'd be the TV movie of the week. Or the is what it was called, and now they were usually pretty crappy uh, things starring no-name actors or uh, somebody from TV that wanted to to show they could do movies. And uh, anyway, they were generally pretty crappy. Um, they they tend to be worse versions of of movies. Okay, I didn't realize we found a Hiratori Henzo Katana right here. Hmm. Anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, they were generally just the 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 movies that weren't good enough to actually get a theatrical release. So you get a lot of B movies, a lot of the uh, like the Hallmark movies, or those are, are pretty big there. And then a lot of like crappy uh, true crime stories about some something that was kind of famous for a bit, and they'd make a bad movie about it. Anyway, so yeah. Um, however, in the early '90s, they put one on TV that was Stephen King's It. It was a two-part series. Um, Seth Green's first movie. Uh, uh, acting role in like a, a big thing was there. I guess he was on You Can't Do That in Television but he was one of the, the kids but it was like divided up into two parts and the first part was them as kids dealing with it and then the second part was uh, them as adults and it had Tim Curry as it and he was so good as it that they actually offered him the, uh, the role in the new it movie but he just said, hey, I'm too old now. I can't do it. Because he's like 70-something uh, now. But uh, it was genuinely one of the creepiest performances. I mean, even creepier, like as good as Skarsgård was as It, uh, he, he was just genuinely creepier. I mean, it's Tim Curry, right? So, yeah, it, uh, anyway. I saw that when I was... Ooh, nine or eight because that's when it was airing and uh, anyway it quite traumatized me for quite some time and I'm kind of scared of clowns since then 
That's a satchel. A little comic book in it and some scissors. That's no biggie. Anyway, um... But yeah, I mean, uh, you know... TV show about a clown that can manifest itself as your... You know, scariest thing you've ever seen. And, uh... Eats children. Not a good thing for a, a young child to watch, I would say. But hey, they, uh, they played it on TV and... This is back when you couldn't even swear on TV. Like, it was a big deal. Nobody could say shit on TV. Like, it was... Anyway. And I see this thing, which is like the scariest thing I'd ever seen, and... <laughs> like, we'd watch horror films all the time, also, like Nightmare on Elm Street and stuff. Anyway. But yeah, seeing it was, uh, was pretty crazy. Um, the temperature here right now, I want to say, is like, it's a uh, single digit Celsius in the positives. But once again, it's supposed to rain, or it's supposed to, like, rain later tonight, and then it's going to turn into mixed snow rain tomorrow. And it'll apparently be snow late, thir uh, late Tuesday. But it'll last for maybe a day, and then go away. So yeah, that was uh, Stephen King's it. And once again, it's quite the TV movie. Um, and this is a... Uh, like, it's hard to think that, like... Yeah, it used to be like, this is just where they put shitty movies that... I guess somebody had a... A love interest who they thought could... Uh, could act and decided to... You know, risk a million dollars on a crappy TV movie for that. Like, it, it, they used to be the, uh... Really the garbage stuff. Same thing with miniseries in general. Um... HBO really changed all that. But, uh... And now it's n not uncommon to see great one-off series and... You know, the, the direct-to-streaming kind of... Movies. It was really a band of brothers for HBO that changed how people thought of miniseries. To give you some idea of how good that was, the uh, the other networks complained that, that Band of Brothers shouldn't be allowed to be nominated for anything because they weren't ready to spend, you know, $200 million on a miniseries or $100 million or however much they spent on it. the guy right in front of you, damn it. Uh, okay. Hey, see, I shouldn't have been allowed to watch it when I was growing up. But, uh...
I can't think of the last, like, uh... Movie I, uh... Wasn't able to watch as a kid. not being a lot uh, like my sister told me she was uh watching tv once and uh the, she was watching movies with the parents and they were watching deliverance they're just like yeah you're not allowed to be here anymore she was like what why not and they're like no you can't see this and of course it was the squeal like a pig scene which is uh I'm like yeah i understand that totally makes sense I remember being a kid renting Fritz the Cat when I was like 12. Fritz the Cat was rated X. So, just to give you some idea, like it's, uh, it's, uh, what, uh, Robert Crumb stuff. If you guys aren't familiar with Robert Crumb, he was one of the great comic book artists who uh, did a lot of images. Uh, keep on trucking is his thing. Uh, like his kind of phrase. Uh, there's also a great documentary made about him and his family. And uh, what I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Robert Crumb. Anyway. Um, And yeah. I lived a freaky life. I say growing up, I think I went to church once when I was like five. And uh, my parents aren't religious, so. I would celebrate Christmas and stuff, but uh. No churches. My great aunt went to uh, United Church. So. Not sure if you guys really have much United Church stuff down there. That's kind of a thing in Canada where it was a. Uh, I forget what two denominations, but they just came together to build a hospital. And then just decided, why not just have our churches be together? And, uh... They do some pretty funny, uh... Pretty funny stuff, too. Because, yeah, they've got, like, female ministers and, uh and preachers and whatnot, along with, uh, well, I guess ministers there, not called preachers. Uh, and, uh, they were marrying gay people before it was even legal. And, uh, uh, th this atheist group brought out, put out all these bus ads once that was, uh, there is no God. Now go on and enjoy your life. So the United Church put out these bus ads saying, there is a God. Now go on and enjoy your life. And I'm like, okay, that's... That's good trolling back, but like, I mean, it's like the exact same font and everything, just, you know, hey, here you go, and, uh,
suppress here, it's kind of ever present. Um, I mean, here in Saskatchewan, it, I, I think I might have been saying this on stream not too long ago. But, like, um, there's this little town near Saskatchewan called Osler. And it has four, like, multi million dollar giant, well, fairly large churches for, like, hundreds of people. But it's too small to even have a gas station. I'm like four ginormous churches. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Out a lot of our voting places take place in church. Oh shit. See if this works. I think uh, elementary school, uh, we had a teacher who, uh, all the girls were like, yeah, he's a creep and a weirdo. And then, of course, he, uh, he got fired for, uh, attempting to have, uh, sex with some of the grade sevens. And, uh, anyway, but this is back before they really dealt with teachers properly like that. So he went, got himself a job at a different school. And then, uh, by the time I was in high school, about grade 10, I was in about grade 6 at the time he got, uh, turfed, um, from the elementary school. He, uh, he was working at a different school, and then it became, uh, big news because he'd, uh, sent, uh, some lewd emails to a student. And the thing about this was, this is when email was still pretty new. Like, uh, it was the late 90s. And, uh, it's like, oh, they've got identifiable proof that he's being a creep. And, uh, yeah. And then they're finally like, okay, you can't be a teacher anymore. guys coming in from all around here. Oh, 
shit. Ooh. Is there even really anything in here? God damn, I wanted to be done with this stupid lodge today. I mean, there, it's, it's a buffet. There's not going to be anything in there. We don't need any food. Oh yeah, the funny story was about it and how it traumatized me. That was a... Uh, I'd wanna, wanted to mention there. Actually, yeah, when I was in grade two, I, I even, like, we started planning on, like, how are we going to stop it when it comes. And, uh, I mean, I was super paranoid and scared of it. Yeah, very much more a dog person than a cat person. Although, I, I mean, I don't mind cats. They're all right. Uh, when I was uh, dog sitting for my sister, uh, this would be a couple months ago now. Uh, she just got a cat. Um, it was like, people have these stories of how they get dogs. Like, oh, I talked to this breeder, all this stuff. How'd you get your cat? Well, I just kind of showed up at my door one day and uh, didn't tell him to leave, so now he's here. And, uh, anyway. Whoa. I didn't know there were guys right next to us.
Anyway, so yeah, for her cat, it was that they found this cat in their alley that was very emaciated. Clearly had ear mites and stuff, so... They, uh, took the cat to the vet. Or, like, she clearly doesn't have an owner. And there was no microchip, no collar. And, uh, anyway. So, yeah, they ended up, uh, keeping her. And, uh, had to wait, like, a month if anybody came around asking about a cat like that. They'd... You know, kind of have to give her up. So. Anyway. But yeah, so I was like dog sitting. And you know, I gotta make sure this cat doesn't get outside. Even though she doesn't really try to run outside or anything. Um, it's like, she's like, no, no, I got a good here. I'm never leaving. And uh. Anyway. So I let the dogs out. I'm like, where's the cat? Oh, no. So I, like, start looking for this cat. And, uh... I, like, head downstairs and the cat's down there. I'm like, hey, Rizal, how's it going? And she, like, looks at me and she's just terrified. I'm like, no, 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 it's okay. And then she, oh, my God, run! And gets up and, like, hops up out of this chair just all terrified. I'm like, I just... I mean, you were sitting on my lap, like, an hour ago, no problem. Why would you... Be all scared of me now. What's like? What has happened, Kitty? And uh, anyway, I, I just thought that was funny. She's a uh, kind of definition of a scaredy cat, as far as I'm concerned. And then you know, like hour or two later, it's like, oh hey, how's it going? I, I want to rub myself all over you. And I'm like, okay, yeah, well, whatever. I, I don't know why you were so scared there. Like, what what were you thinking that I was down there to do? Like, anyway, <laughs> just it was. So they were like, I didn't mean to scare you that much. I just wanted to make sure you hadn't ran outside and I didn't know where you were at. And, uh, anyway. Oh. Yeah, I mean, she's a well-behaved cat. Um, she already knew how to use a litter box, so, like, she'd lived with somebody for some time. But, like the vet was saying, this cat's clearly been on the street for quite some time. Um, uh, was very kind of malnourished. And, uh... Anyway. So, you know, I think we're going to say that thing's looted, even though, I mean, we went in there. I mean, what's the best case scenario for stuff being in that one one place? What, what great loot are we going to get? More food? Well, we've got food to last probably years already in this game, so no point in going back. But yeah, we'll say with that, West Point is cleared. Twelve oh nine. Hmm. I think we're gonna put this back, but I wanna grab a uh this one's the one with the guns, right? I want to grab a weapon that uses uh, 9x19 out of here. I think we got some... These, no, these are the uh, random weird ones. These ones are the ones that use... Uh, Where 
Where's the gun? I guess it's red down here. The stem gun. Hey, does this use a bottle suppressor then? Where's the stem? Oh wait, it's over here. Oh shit. I thought I changed that one up to point or uh, number nine, but well well Okay, well, hey. Oops, I'll uh, I'll switch it over then in, in a bit. Um one other thing I was gonna do was uh There's a thirty eight specials, okay. What the fuck? Okay, um... Okay, I accidentally got rid of the inventory. Okay. Okay. It's 38 special ammo and speed loaders and stuff. we use now. Because we can use the 9 by 19 millimeter bullets for things other than pistols. And, uh, yeah, might as well use it for that. Okay, so two part sevens. Because I remember I did that before once and I was like, oh shit, I did not up the, the parts. Oh, I think that was the time <coughs> YouTube was having those issues. Um, where there's this thing that happened once where I was trying to make a... Um, uh, yeah, well, it's, it's hard to explain. But yeah, it was a uh, it was an interesting uh, time there where they uh, they had a weird thing going on with YouTube where they wouldn't let anybody make uh, make new um, uh, new live streams with actual names, so you just had to use the old name. And uh, I thought I updated it after that, but maybe not. So there that is.
Okay, so we're gonna attach left, attach right. We got a couple of six shooters on us now. Okay, and we're gonna put this. I, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. More magazine, there we go. This, okay, we'll eject the magazine. I'll put that away. Okay, I'm gonna grab these. With both hands. Okay, then we gotta go 38 special stuff. Say what, 20? Now, the big advantage of these is we can leave them in our backpack and just automatically reload them. So, okay, we'll have a smoke. I'll turn off the lights here. drink. Boom. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was like, it, it, it would not let me change any of the details for the next stream. It wouldn't even let me say what game it was or anything. And then I'm like, what am I doing wrong here? What's, what's up, YouTube? And then it turned out, no, 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 everybody's having that issue. Okay, so it's five o'clock. YouTube time, or uh, game time here. Oh. So I've got a cop car here to disassemble.
like we get to use that Sten gun. Turn this off. Okay. Just hang out there the whole time. Okay. I feel like we should save our shotgun shells in case we die again. So, I mean, the next gun store is going to be in the mall.
See, like, look at how close our guns are to these guys. The whole way to Louisville is going to be like this. left. I think about the spears, we are kind of bad with it right now. Okay, that's the last one. We do have uh, 38 special rounds too, so... Oh, no, no, let's... Uh trooper there. Oh, 
We'll kill the few that we can with the spears. Okay, well, there's one spear gone. Oh fuck, I hate not having Nimble. It's so hard. So Nimble's what lets you walk backwards a bit faster, right? Guys, though. Head off to sleep. Tomorrow we'll get up with the uh, um, welding stuff we need. What the heck? Just kill him, jeez. Oh yeah, yeah. Everything that uh, they can't do is is done. Probably shouldn't have done this. So that's done. Put those back. And we'll grab these. Uh, 
I'm starting to think maybe we shouldn't be using spears. Because, you know, we got... We got a bunch of axes with us. We got a bunch of machetes. We got another uh, Rotori Henzo Katana, like... Let's keep that on us and see how that goes. Yep, yeah, those are the skills in this game. Like each of their own thing and I usually we get spearing up because it's uh it's like you can just make more spears real easy when you need them. But at this point, I mean we got like 40 or 50 machetes. And the thing is, they don't break anywhere near as fast as the other stuff, right? So that's why they're... They're valuable. Or why spears are... Are what they are. However, once you get machetes up, you can just hack and slash guys. You don't use as much, uh... Um... Endurance when you use it. So you can just keep slashing. <clears throat> Excuse Somebody was saying the hunting knife, actually. Uh, that's a short blade weapon. That doesn't, um... That doesn't, uh... Let's just go to sleep. Um... Use any endurance. When you're using it. Let's, uh, let's see how many we can hack with these. I hope this counts as long blade. Like how we just left our cop car right there. Yeah, geez, I'm glad that uh, the furnace thing is done. I kind of want to check out Frostpunk 2 today, but once again, I I just feel like I've gotten burned too many times lately with uh, paying extra to play a game in beta and just having it suck. on you first, buddy. Let's 
zero skill. I don't think this can multi hit. Oh, it can. Beautiful. Ooh. this upping though is the other question. Okay, so that is long blade, okay. Okay, you know what, this is going to be an issue if we keep doing this, so we'll uh, use the Sten gun on these guys now. What the hell? Shoot the guy in front of you. Come on. Fifteen hundred now, so that's it's pretty good. It's moving up pretty quick here. We don't have to discard any of uh, that stuff. I can't believe we stole that on us. Oops. Hmm. We'll get our macheteing up. If we get up enough, I think we could just go use uh, katanas.
Okay, cool. We got a big electrical book to read now. Can't equip, yeah. so, so you can't equip it in both hands, right? Great, wow. So that up, we're getting shooting up also. What the hell, why are we pressed? That's because we need to smoke, huh?
We'll have our level 10 aiming back in no time, I think. I mean, if we're up to level 7 by the end of this. I guess level 6 aiming. Shouldn't take us too long to reach the rest of the way up. Our machete has dropped one tiny little bit of condition so far. I feel like this is a good chance of becoming our uh, go to weapon. all those swings. Oh. I like Jason Voorhees here. Calling some teenagers. Shit, now we're tired and corpse sick. I figured it happened sooner or later, but. Cool, so I got a nice stack of corpses here.
not get our cop car back today. How tired are we? There it goes. Why did that take so long? Oh yeah, we need to go read the uh, next electronics book. Oh man, do we have electronics three on us? run back to the base for that. I realized we might not have the third electronics book in this bus right here. Let's get it. Okay, cool. So we're not being tracked anymore. That's always good to hear. You know what? Here, we'll grab this. Oh, yes, we do. Okay. Cool. Well, so I'll read this tomorrow. We'll put the, uh, the bullets back here. Boom.
Hmm. Okay, so. Turn that on. Oh my god. I accidentally hit the wrong button to speed that up too much. Oh, that's pretty rare. That was kind of freaky. Why wouldn't you I said to just put it there like that? There. 
this is okay. Let's start reading. Almost done reading. Oh, God, it'll be like one in the morning. By the time we're done, maybe two. There we go. So we got our electrical up a bit. What's I gonna do here? I had a plan. Actually, I was gonna do this. And then we'll leave the rebar spear here for now. And we have a katana on our back. Okay, so we got the stem gun. Um, oh, right, we gotta put the electrician book back. It's a big thing. I feel like we could start using Molotovs pretty soon, but just not right now because. I just don't see it working out. Nice. 
path going along this way. All the corpses we can handle. or at least level 2 maintenance before we really start getting into that. But okay, well. Good to see that that uh, does do a shitload of damage. I gotta say, I feel like it's going up a lot faster with this, uh, this than it would ever with, uh, spears. There's gotta be some kind of modifier with spears that makes it not go up anywhere near as fast. Or maybe it's just the wooden spears because they, uh, get destroyed so quick.
Oh, I feel like we're almost at Sten Gun time. Level too long, Blade. Two. Doing damage, I mean, it's, it's good shit. Kept a better eye out here. We can't really see any of them beyond the trees, right? Whew. Endurance 
is a bit of an issue. I think we're just going to have to go with this for, for a moment or two. Last, uh, That got kind of scary there, a bit squirrely. Take that because we can uh, slice them up later. Get some uh, leather stuff out of it. I feel like we'll go through the uh, the other areas of stuff later on. I just figure we're probably not going to get back this way to look through these guys. There's some bodies on the other side there, but I don't want to risk that. Hmm. 
I'm just looking at all those corpses up ahead of us. I think that by the time we're done uh, going through all them, the watches and whatnot, we'll be able to be up another level for electronics. So that's what I'm hoping. No ammo on any of these guys either. See, this is actually, uh, I think how much faster this shit is. I'm gonna leave that one up just for now. You know, I'm not seeing any, uh, any ammo at all on these guys. My bad. <laughs> I wasn't even looking for guys anymore. I'll probably be along here in kind of droves. We're almost halfway up the next level of electrical, right? Earbuds.
see if we can more of these we can get here. This is pretty cool how this works out like this. I'm glad that uh, random guy suggested this. I wonder with general, I mean, I guess we... Oh, there we go. Fast way to get leather strips? Wow. earbuds right there. Okay, well, we'll go back to electrical. But hey, you know, it's good to know that this is, uh... Hmm. I feel like this is going way faster. The previous times it would have taken us a day or two to get all, or probably uh, not that long, but I'm gonna be able to just do it right now quickly. And the same thing with the uh, leather strips. Well, hell, we could go over and rip all their clothing up and get our tailoring back really want. good for now. We'll do one more uh, go over and we'll see how many guys we get killed then. Say so we're at almost 2,000 for the stream and uh, yeah we, uh, we did some damage. Um, I remember to grab the uh, and whatnot here. Is it right here? We only need one, but uh, you know, we'll do that anyway. Whew. I have two just in case. Once again, I'm pretty sure it only takes one. So we gained a bit of tailoring skill there, right? Oh, we're at 2.92. God. Close this. Get back to that. Normal way. Um, we'll wash those off some other time. Just won't worry about it right now. Okay, we'll put that electric wire there. Yeah, right. I'm doing that just for that. The smoke.
So what's our electrical at? Okay, so yeah, we're almost at level three. We're you know, five sixths of the way there. Aiming up our long blades going up. Our maintenance is going up actually pretty quick there. I mean, it'd be a sixth of the way up to level two through uh, what one day. That's pretty crazy. Double soup there. We'll drink the lentil soup. Yeah, let's drink the lentil soup again. There. Put that right there. Stabbing guys would make us bloodier faster. The gun's bloody? That's weird. The machete's bloody. Well, that makes sense. Side note, how is our katana holding up? I mean, that that's in pretty good shape. We got like 26 of those. So... I mean, we could get into that pretty soon, and... Make a lot of names kick a lot of asses with that. Also have that scythe and a couple, a couple other things like that, and the Chinese war sword. Can't forget about that Chinese war sword. However long it takes. Alright, cool. Well, might as well grab one. While we're sitting here. The scrap metal there, that's useless. Hmm. Just gotta see one thing here. Okay, so I'm gonna X out that thing. Quite going there. Which around there didn't see much. Okay, well, we're here. Um, I wanted to look at this quickly to see how many guys are actually supposed to be here. So 340 up there, that's probably... Uh, those guys, man, we aren't even at the turn yet. It says 104 for this whole area here. That can't be right. So I must have killed that whole 340. That 896, they're, they're probably... Uh, 
I mean, they're probably right here, right? I mean, like, uh, that would make sense. These are some of the guys we're killing. Most of them. getting a bit close there. to this guy. Blade skill going up. I feel like it should have by now. I feel like we're like a level three long blade. Oh, we're pretty close. I gotta say, I'm actually really liking blades here.
Whoa. Like a fucking ninja here. Or a samurai. Oh, or a long blade, you know, just, wow, I, I mean, I got so used to spears, I, uh, I just figured, hey, well, why use anything else, right? Spears are great, but, uh, join the Jason Voorhees, uh, method right here. I didn't even see you there. You want to get hacked by a machete? I can hack you with a machete, no problem. Let's 
bit of bitter nimble. I feel like this works a lot better. I'm so glad that one guy, a uh, random guy on Reddit said that, hey, you do this and it goes a lot faster. You got something? You got nothing. There's any kind, any kind of ninjas. Can't do shit here. You're a disgrace to the Emperor. That's what you are. The problem we're having right now is we just aren't nimble enough currently. Actually, yeah, let's uh let's do this. Headphones will favorite also. And, um. Uh, oh, earbuds is what I meant to do actually. Where's the camera? Yeah, there we go. We're done with 
that. More corpse sick again. Well, not unexpected, but. Side note here. Not the right time to lag up their game. Hey, okay. well, we're leveling stuff, it's just. fast as I'd hoped it would. But hey, we're almost... Oh. So we killed over 2,000 a day. Um, we killed a lot with the uh, shotgun there. On the fields. I just want to see the curve in the, uh, the road. Ah, there we go. Finally made it there. Finally got to really see what the katanas can do, and they do indeed kick ass. Yeah, the machetes are, uh, I mean, it's, I want to see what it's like once we've got level 10, uh, long blade. I think that's when it's, it's really going to be largely one hit kills doesn't use much uh, much uh, exertion or anything I'll keep that down plus it'll be faster I mean it's it's gonna be good
Atlas, can you imagine when we have our maintenance up to like four or five? We'll be able to use those katanas and just go into crowds and just annihilate zombies. And, uh... Just not gonna shoot him, huh? You're just not gonna shoot the guy right in front of you? Just shoot him. Jeez. I feel like we should hop in the car before going off this way, but... Oh. Oh. And then here's the, uh... Holy shit.
Yeah, well, you know, we'll get on to this tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I only have only about three hours to stream, like I'm only going to be able to stream from 9 a.m. to 12 my time. But, on uh, Wednesday I'll be back with the same kind of normal schedule. I did want to see if there was anything in here. Don't get why you can't shoot him. Should we get going? It's like 11. We'll take those. Dismantle that. Take those. Okay, I didn't get out of. Can we not turn this on without the uh, lights? Oh, there we go, duct tape. Just a bunch of roadblock stuff, but hey, we will have working light bars there. So it's nice we got the extra light bars. Be able to use those to our advantage. A duct tape, we got those empty bottles so we can make extra um extra silencers or suppressors. Yeah, I mean, uh, all in all, we, uh, we could have sprinting up to level 3 today also. We got our long blade up a bunch. Our aiming and reloading, though, that's kind of the, some of the bigger ones. We killed, uh... 2,128 zombies today. And that's with no fire. And like to have a new character do that kind of damage is uh, ridiculous. 
We got our electronics up. Or electrical. We put what another 16 points on metalworking because we dismantled that one car. It sounded like there was a zombie there, but I didn't see him. So we were able to make them one. That's not too bad. Not there. We'll put this empty one right here. We'll put that extra suppressor there for now. Ooh, we might need to. We need to repair this. Use duct tape or adhesive tape, no wood glue. Which I, I guess does technically make sense. Okay, we're gonna grab this. We're gonna repair a sten gun a bit. Okay. There we go. We'll grab this. are going pretty fast now that we're using it this way but I mean a lot of it is just about uh, trying to uh, make sure we we get as many of them as possible and uh, get our aiming up a bunch These are pretty close to level seven. Oh, but anyway, um, well, uh, you know what, I'm gonna eat this uh, cereal. Okay. I'll try using those scythes next time. Cut the wheat from the chaff, you know what I'm saying? So. Okay. Let's uh, drink all this. Cigarette. All right, I'd say we're we're done there for now. She's two thirty already. We'll hop in here, and yeah, we'll escape once again. That's 
you know, 2,128 zombies killed. So, I mean, not a new record, but it, it's, you know, for a character with no skills, the start of this, he's he's come along quite a ways already, Fiddlin' Ben's number 10. So, we'll be back to where we were in no time. I'm sure of it. Probably not with the uh, metal working and whatnot, but, you know, the other stuff. And we got most of the metal working stuff done that we needed done. And, uh, I mean, I guess worst case scenario, we, uh, Start going into random schools, dismantling lockers. Although I'm not sure where exactly we'd go for uh, good quantities of metal right now, but we'd find a way. Anyway, um, yeah, once again, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see y'all uh, tomorrow for a good three-hour stream. And, uh, yeah, uh, till then, thanks for watching. Cheers. Peace. Bye.